Raw as a athlete. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update, a bit of a report about a race that I just competed in called the C2C Ultra in the UK. It goes across the country from, from the Irish Sea on the west side, on the west coast, to the North Sea on the east coast. It's 140 miles, mostly a bicycle trail. Uh, it's based on, a, on the C2C bicycle route, but there are variations that, that are made to go through some, yeah. some tough hills and off-road off, off terrain. Some killer hills back there. Just for this particular running race. So it's 140 miles or 225 kilometers. Um, and the race director is, is known for putting on very tough races. And this was definitely no exception. Uh, he describes this race as extremely difficult. So I'm about to run across, across Britain, across England, from coast to coast in the, in the coast to coast ultra. And of course, any race across country, you've got to start in the water. So. I'm just going to touch this water. It's the Irish Sea. It's a little bit cool, but it's not so bad. Not so bad. You could swim in that for about a minute. <laughs> so I'll see you on the other side. Um, and I didn't finish this race. I did. I did 75 miles of it. I did a little bit more than halfway. Um, so I really kind of did a sea to summit race because I, I stopped at the top of the of the highest point of the race at around, yeah, at the, at, at the heart side summit. Um, and the reason I didn't finish the race, basically I would say it comes down to planning. There's no substitute for good planning in a race. I was traveling a lot this year and, uh, beautiful little river here. I was traveling a lot this year and didn't really put a lot of, uh, effort into preparing for this race. I, I trained for the race, but I, I mean effort in sense of becoming familiar with the course and and the directions. The, the directions uh, and the maps for this course, I didn't get them until three days before the race and because they were sent to another uh, an address in, in Scotland where I was going to be just before the race and I, I because I was traveling I couldn't get the uh, info sent to another address. So I would um, so receiving that information late didn't give me much time to, to, to go over it. And so I found myself up late the night before the race, trying to make sense of all these directions. And yeah, there are quite a few parts of the directions that are, uh, that are difficult to follow when you line up between reality of what you see with signs and the directions and the maps. So in that sense, it was a very, very challenging race. Um, sometimes I had to make a decision almost randomly to go left or right or to go straight ahead or go right for example because there wasn't enough information in front of me to make the decision uh, but but 90 95 percent of the course is there are just blue signs all the way and it's very easy to follow so i came unstuck at a few places um, my food went quite well i just had dates and bananas and some organic bananas, medjool dates, peaches, and and a few and some cherries. Not a lot of cherries. Probably had about 20 peaches. Um, yeah, so the food went quite well. I was drinking about a liter of water every every 10 miles, in, which was fine in this cool climate. You know, in a warmer race, I would definitely drink a lot more. Um, yeah, so, the, and I, I, I was also borrowing uh, a lot of gear from people that wasn't really proper race gear. I just kind of found what I could because I was traveling. I, I didn't know I was going to be doing this race when I, when I left home in Australia many months ago. And so, you know, I had all this makeshift gear and didn't really know the course very well. So I found myself with, without enough warm clothing to climb uh, quite a long steep ascent that was basically like going up into snow fields that the air temperature was very cold and I was shivering and making slow progress and also falling asleep um, regularly because I because I um, I hadn't had enough sleep before the race 
and so uh, that was kind of that was the that was the main challenge for me was uh, not being well rested. That were the main challenges for me: not being well rested, not being well prepared in terms of uh, understanding the course to some you know to some degree. I had no familiarity; I had never been on any parts of the terrain. Uh, didn't know anything about it. <laughs> um, so that's that's that'd be my tips for uh, for future races: would be to, to be never overlook being prepared. You can never be too prepared for a race. You can certainly over prepare. Yeah, so the take home lessons, uh, lessons I guess I should have already known, but is to not, not take races too lightly. This was a very extreme race and it can get dangerous out there if you don't have the right gear and you're not well prepared or you don't understand the, the, where the course goes and how to navigate it. So. Yeah, that's that's my, my my advice to myself is is to is to just be more prepared for um, when I enter extreme races like this one. And uh, next time I'll get to the finish. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.